Kolvod at the Robert H. Smith Faculty of Agriculture, Food and Environment, which was established in 1942. The faculty has been a major contributor to the settlement of Israel and the development of its remarkable achievements in agriculture. The faculty is also the leading academic authority in Israel for food and nutrition, and its impact can be felt worldwide. Welcome to the greenhouse of the future. This isn't like the typical greenhouse that you have maybe in your backyard. Here we use state-of-the-art technology, such as sensors that measure all aspects of plant lives. This advanced greenhouse is specially designed to allow researchers to screen hundreds of plants simultaneously under a variety of controlled conditions while they continually monitor several physiological parameters for each individual plant. We're here at the Benjamin Trewax Bee Research Center, our hub for the study of the biology of honeybees and bees as pollinators. Research at the center focuses on studying the decision-making processes of bees from a multidisciplinary perspective, combining tools and ideas from behavioral ecology, cognitive psychology, and economics. Wow, it's unbelievable! <laughs> Welcome to the Fish Research Facility, where scientists learn how to breed fish that are disease resistant. Aquaculture is the fastest growing animal farming sector, addressing the demands for nutritious and healthy foods to feed the world's growing population, especially in developing countries. Here we are at one of the few cannabis growing research facilities in all of Israel. Using state-of-the-art technologies, our researchers are currently using sensors to measure the plant's environmental variables, including water, temperature, humidity, pH levels, and more. The information is uploaded directly to the cloud and using big data, we will be able to better understand the properties of the cannabis plant in different growing conditions. Behind me is the faculty's International School of Agricultural Sciences, which is dedicated to the spreading of its knowledge and expertise with the international community. With students from over 125 countries, primarily from the developing world, the International School provides opportunities to acquire advanced academic knowledge and observe up-to-date practical applications. Just a short drive from campus is the Joseph Margolis Experimental Farm. This is where researchers and students conduct experiments on the growth of fruits, vegetables, and ornamentals. Looks good, huh? Can I tell you, this is actually the only place in Israel where you can get a master's in winemaking and vineyard growing. Now that's what I call an education. Here, in the Phytochan, you can hear the large fans that are going on behind me because what is happening is that we are actually in a sophisticated greenhouse that has the precise means of controlling the environment. It's divided into four climate and light control rooms, so it's summer and winter and spring and fall all at the same time here. Very close to the Rehovot campus is the Hebrew University Veterinary Hospital, which is the only teaching veterinary hospital in all of Israel. The Karet School of Veterinary Medicine teaches the highest level of care for animals of all shapes and sizes, seeing over 10,000 cases a year. This is the Emergency and Intensive Care Unit where we treat over 60 cases a day. Students are here daily, 24 hours a day, even on high holidays such as Yom Kippur. They're simply miaulous here. No rough day here. Okay, time to stop horsing around. <laughs> I had a great time hanging out with you today. Hope to see you really soon. Bye.